Hello everyone, I am back after the Christmas break. And I, the jazz scientist, with my clarinet. And I have no special guest star. He is helping me, helping me, helping me. He's my little helper. Today, my clarinet is a bit unplayable at the moment. It needs quite a bit of cleaning. from that monkey sound. Paper. 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 What paper? Paper door. Paper door. <laughs> we'll get paper later. For now, puppy, you need to clean it. You need to clean the clarinet. Now, when it dries out, what I usually do, which isn't usually the preferred way, is take up the We'll brush your teeth after. <laughs> uh, put away the reed. Your preferred spot. Hey, no, leave the cap alone. Then take it apart, the clarinet. <laughs> it's okay, puppy. Ta-da! <laughs> Good job. And what you want to do now, just rinse. First off, start with the barrel and the... Water! The barrel and the... Water! 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 Barrel and this part. I can't remember the other top of my head. Water, water, water. As these won't be that affected by the water. Water, water. I'm using my fingers to get very specific parts, but do not use a nail. It's best to have like at least one of these and stuff like that. Water. Cleaning stuff. And this is what I use to get the stuff from the inside. And then with this, you want to be careful to not wet the cork as you can make the cork moldy if it gets too wet. All you really want to do is just wet the inside to get that muck out. And then after, I'm letting it air dry. You have to let it air dry, otherwise it can get moldy. So it's especially important to let it air dry. All right, and then for the next part, we're using the upper part now. We're going to clean this part. All I'm going to do is I'm going to close all the parts, have the water come through this part. through a few times to make sure you get all dry mm -hmm. and you have to let the clarinet air dry for a while otherwise it will most likely get moldy probably should turn that light probably should have done that from the beginning but you know oh well and you really want to get out all that muck look in it See if there's any more. What are you doing? What are you doing, my little helper? No. No. Uh -uh. <sighs> then take the bottom part. Same thing as before, put all the fingers on it. I'm not sure if I can have it reached with this one. <sighs> mm. Hey, 
Hey, what are you doing? He's trying to get out. We're almost done, Bubby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, stop it. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Now for this one, you may want to use some of your other tools. Hey, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Thank you. No, no. Stay out. He's untrained. <laughs> inside it. Stop it. Stand right there. You just woke up. Oh. 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 Right, I'm going to put this through a few more times and then that should be oh. the entire instrument. Clean. No. <laughs> you really only want to do this when your instrument is really dirty. Because this is highly unrecommended, as it can damage your instrument. And you want to keep it to, like the you want to wet it to a minimum because it doesn't really take that much. Just doesn't take much to loosen it up. And now I'm going to put it together so you can hear how it sounds after being cleaned. The mouthpiece is the most important part. Just oh. some right here. Spit it out in your mouth, under the tongue. Move your tongue up. Is it under your tongue? Did you did you swallow the? Mm -hmm. Nope, okay. And now for the read. Huge difference. <laughs> that is a massive difference. Not yet, not yet. Soon. And <sighs> that's my last resort I used for cleaning my instrument. As you see, massive difference. Today's for today's video. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you later. Bye.